everyone, and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos, we tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, with a couple sessions of Anastir this weekend under our belts, JT and I have been given the go-ahead for a live play session of Anastir this Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So keep that in mind and make plans to attend. We tend to have a pretty good time playing games, and I'm sure this won't be an exception. My other videos on Thursday and Friday will still be in effect this week, but we're going to try starting at about uh, 45 minutes earlier than normal. So around 9.45 Pacific Time in the morning on both Thursday and Friday. Next week, and throughout the duration of the Anastair campaign, the Mythic Play series will take a break, but I'll continue doing the live Q&A videos, though. On the shipping and fulfillment front, in general, I wanted to mention that the Maryland miniature for Solomon Kane, the French replacement cards for Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2, and the bridges for Joan of Arc 1.5 are shipping from the factory today by air on their way to Meeple Logistics and Quartermaster Logistics. Backers do not need to request these items for replacement. They will automatically be sent to all backers. If you purchase those games secondhand, however, you'll need to contact the person from which you bought it to make arrangements for how you can get your replacements. Now, we've only a little bit of information on a couple of our projects, so let's get to them. For Super Fantasy Brawl today, we wanted to make public the list of distributors and localization deals with which we have come to be working within the retail environment. In the U.S., we'll be working with Hit Point Sales, Bridge Distribution, and Indie Pro Games. In Canada, English versions of the game will come through Lion Rampant, while the French version will come through Neo Ludus, who will also handle the French version for France and Belgium. In the EU, the English version of the game will come through Blackfire, while in the UK, it will be through Asmodee UK. In Australia and New Zealand, Aetherworks will put their capable hands to the plow for us. The English version in Asia will be handled through VFI Asia. Our localization partners so far include Dungeon Dice for Italian, Ingenio for Spanish, BG Trends for Chinese, and Happy Shops for German. More language localizations are forthcoming later this year, and we'll be sure to announce them appropriately. In other news for Super Fantasy Brawl today, we wanted to announce that Army Painter has agreed to produce a paint set specifically for Super Fantasy Brawl, which will be available for purchase. The set will include three paintbrushes and the following colors. Matte white, matte black, lava orange, green skin, oak brown, corpse pale, alien purple, warlock purple, dragon red, demonic yellow, crystal blue, sulfide ochre, plate mail metal, and bright gold. We'll come back to you with more details on when and how you'll be able to get your hands on it as soon as those details are available. Lastly, don't forget to check out Dized for a rockin' tutorial of Super Fantasy Brawl. It's a great way to step into the game from a point of little to no prior knowledge. As a reminder, Anastir will launch next week on Kickstarter at 7 p.m. Central European Time on Tuesday, April 19th. And then we'll run for 17 days until Friday, May 6th. We have so much in store for this project and we are super excited to see it finally launch. Tomorrow, Wednesday, April 13th, as I mentioned earlier, JT and I will be live streaming an English session of Anasir so that you can have a good idea of how the game currently plays. Of course, we'll be using a demo prototype, so we won't have everything that will be in the final version, and that also means that everything you see is still a work in progress. But it will give you a good handle on the kind of game it is, and what you can expect to see more of during the Kickstarter campaign that begins next week. Did I mention that? 
In the meantime, there is a notify me button that you can click that will send you an email when the launch occurs. And we have a couple of places you can go for more information about the game in general. We're continuing to populate both the Facebook group and the BGG product page with images and background on the many characters and heroes in the game. And we're still publishing articles on our website too. As we mentioned earlier, King of Average, Rolling Solo, and I have all done unboxings of the prototypes we were sent, so you can check those out too. Basically, there will be plenty of content out there to help you make the right choice for yourself by the time the campaign begins. It's going to be an awesome ride, so I hope to see you there. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions, or you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show you, because you never know what Leo has sitting just outside of the camera angle. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my two videos on Thursday and Friday, but at 9.45 a.m. Pacific time, so be on the lookout for those. That's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.